Hello everybody, Aro Dansky here and welcome back to Yeah, that's right, Saya. Welcome back to a sky floor sass. So let's continue with the game. Come on. Yeah, the last time, as you remember, Akito and Corona were buying some stuff in Harvard Sound because of the radio wave observations project, right? And well, after that they had a little day. Now we are here in a new day where the antenna are right. So let's get into it. Come on. Yeah, come on, Hikari. And to be honest, I miss you. <laughs> anyway. Alright. The HRO receiver and antenna were ordered separately, and the antenna arrived first. The receiver would take a while longer, it seemed. Mm, Alright. We decided to set up the antenna before the receiver got here. Oh! Thanks for coming all the way. Who's this guy? It's a new Carter. Who is he? Oh my god. Uh, to be honest, he looks like a punk, you know? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he looks like a bully, to be honest. What the fuck? Is this your friend, dude? Uh, he looks a bit, uh, pretty, a bit intimidating, you know? Two more high students, alright, so he's from Moromisawa too. Oh. Keisuke and another club member work here for the antenna setup. Oh, okay. Mm. Alright, Kawanakajima, Kawanakajima, that's your name? Let me see the settings. Uh, yeah, here. Maybe it's one of, one of the new characters. Let's see. Uh, where is it? In sound, right? Yeah. Uh, Keisuke... No, he's not here. No. <laughs> Alright. Kawanakajima. Maybe it's a minor character. <laughs> you know, it's been a while since we got a minor character. This is pretty strange. <laughs> that voice though. Alright, Moromisawa Astronomy Club member. Come on, fucking text. Look at this. It says Kawanakajima. That's his name. Come on. Change this. Change the thing. Ah. <laughs> then right, girl. Uh, to be honest, he looks like a uh, like a bully. You know, fuck. <laughs> Maybe it's his curry style. Anyway. Oh, okay, that's cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, we can, we don't have to judge uh, guy, um, people by her by his, their, their look, you know. <laughs> but he's pretty pretty weird, you know. Fuck. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Corona was a little apprehensive. Yeah, she's a bit shy, you know. Well, I understand that, but he was with Keisuke, so she should be fine. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't get scared uh, of this guy. Come on. Plus, I heard that in technical schools, the older students were really tall, tall on the younger ones. Oh. All right. Keisuke started by checking the windows. Oh, oh yeah. What do you mean? <coughs> Uh-huh, yeah, you're right, Keisuke. Mm-hmm, yeah. That's the thing I was thinking, you know? Mm. I mean, can they make a hole in one of the fucking walls? <laughs> mm, that's right. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I, I, I think we have to uh, give. Say, uh, we have to have permission to um, drill uh, one of uh, one of the walls, right? And are there others? Uh huh. That's the thing was, I was talking about, you know, making a hole in one of the walls. Uh, but we have to get permission for that shit. I don't know about that. Making holes in the wall probably wasn't a good idea. Wasn't a good idea. Yeah, yeah, that's right. 
We had permission, more or less, to set up the, the, ante the antenna, but I don't think that includes the machine part of the school building. Mm hmm, yeah, that's right. Mm. Sorry, this room doesn't have air conditioning. Mm. Alright, that's fucked up. Mm. We had a rough way of speaking, but he seems like a good guy. Mm -hmm, yeah, that's right. Yeah, look at his face. <laughs> he looks like an asshole, what the hell? うーん。空見さん、星野第一のセキュリティはどうだろう。正常しないと具合が悪いですか上部の窓を使わせてもらうとしましょう。下は公務員さんも気にされるでしょうから。うん、オーライト。うん。隙間を埋めるための Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, listen. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> mm, that's great. Thanks. Looks good. That settles the position of the cable. I just had to tell one of the teachers later about the window being unlocked. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. We had to talk about that shit later. Suigini, antenna desu ne. Oh, the antenna. It's only arrived yesterday, so we hadn't even opened the post yet to check it. Hmm? Yes, thank you. Kawanakajima spurtly undid the packaging with a paper cutter. Hmm, alright. The frequency used for radio media observations was 53.5. 750 megahertz, alright? So a 50 megahertz antenna would be up able to pick up the required frequency without any issues. Oh. Mm -hmm. Got it. Great! When I asked the school about putting up an antenna for the astronomy club, they had actually given us a space on the roof. Ah! Oh. That had really worked out well. The signal would be so much better on the roof compared to putting antenna out the club room window. Uh huh, that's right. But why don't you put that that antenna in the in the roof instead of the <laughs> instead of the, the astronomy club room? Here's the spot. We can use any part of the indicate space. Yeah, come on. Without any delay. The two more high students started setting up the antenna. Keisuke, if there's anything we can do to help? Yeah, alright dude. As you said. Got it. Hmm, yeah, so so, but don't worry. Maybe we can help at some point. That's how it is. We are in spurs, so we just get in their way. Mm -hmm, that's right. These technical school guys, on the other hand, definitely were. Using their tools, they swiftly set up the antenna. We held them out a bit by holding up the antenna, for example, but basically they did everything. Mm, I can imagine that. Alright, that's something that we can do. Sure. Corona and I went back to the club room. Yeah, why not? I think we confirmed the window's position just now, so it will be fine. Keisuke was going to bring the cable to the side of the building where our room was and let it down. Oh. Alright, oh. 
that's cool. Instead of screaming, yelling it from the from the from the outside, they are we are writing on the WhatsApp band. Ah, that's quite right. Suddenly, I got a text from Keisuke. Yeah, and before I could reply, the antenna cable appeared outside the window. Hmm. Yeah. Let's get hold of with a stick or something. Uh huh. We found an umbrella in a corner of the room, which allow us to snag the cable easily. Hmm. Yeah, but where is the fucking uh, fucking cable? I don't see it. Come on, game. Oh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> he's here. He came down to hell, apparently. All right. Ah. Yes. Listen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we put the ladder they brought next to the window and nimbly climbed up it. Oh, that's great. Seeking his head out of the window, he used the wiring, wiring to make sure the cable stayed put. Alright. Got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, he talks like a fucking soldier. <laughs> yeah. Keisuke climbed the ladder to check on the table. On the cable. But where is the fucking what, cable? Look at this! What the fuck? The windows are still locked. Ah. He was make, making sure that it wouldn't it wouldn't come loose when pulled or we blown off by the window. By the wind. あとはアンテナ次第になりますね。うん。お二人も屋上に来て直接見て確認してください。Alright. <coughs> Let's see. Oh,アンテナが立ってる。Ah, that's great. I love your sparkle eyes, you know. <laughs> Does it look wobbly to you? 少し風で揺れてるけど、真ん中はしっかりしてるよ。Alright. ケーブルも。Mm -hmm. Alright, that settles the antenna as well. The H shaped antenna stood proud and tall in a corner of the roof. I don't really know what to look out for, to be honest. So I only checked that it wouldn't fall over. Alright. Mm -hmm. Thank you, we'll handle that. Yeah, don't worry, dude. Yeah, we're gonna do that shit. Got it, thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's right. Thank you for your help. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I had no idea that was on Keisuke's mind. When we had built the Pleiades one, we had a lot of help from the students at more high, just like today. Mm. Keisuke had even agreed to oversee the entry process, so it had it was I who was this debt actually. In his step actually. Oh, we don't have to keep track of favors uh, and all that. Yeah, don't worry, dude. This is our project anyway. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. Come on. Corona Sports left. Then let me dumbfound. But what? Come on. Why are you so surprised about this? It's a, pro a project of the of the group. Come on. Come on, dudes! Ah. Even though we are uh, a team, we are friends. Eh? Ah, come on. Then Keisuke gave us brightness smile yet. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, dude. <laughs> he talks like a soldier too, you know? Wow. Hey, listen. Hey. Hey. Again. <laughs> I love this shit. Alright. After completing the antenna setup, Keisuke and Kawa Yakajima packed up and left. Mm. 
Even though we were dumb too, Corona and I didn't feel like going, so we remained in the room. Oh, wow. Anyway. Mm, we can say that, but the only thing we did today was setting up the antenna, that's it. Anyway. We only set up the antenna, yeah that's right! Mm, Alright, whatever you say girl, but to me it was just one thing. She was still staring at the antenna cable outside the window. Hmm? Who knows, I don't think we'll succeed on the first try, but demo demo demo. It had been the same thing with the Pleiades one. Mm. For checking the primary mirrors to the frame setup, it had all been new to us, so we have to keep figuring things out by trial and error. Who knows how long we took just to align the optical axis that first time? It's okay to fail, it's because of failure that success tastes so much sweeter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right, Akito. <laughs> oh my god. You have to fail first to get a success. Oh my fuck. Yeah, it's the love of life, you know? Mm, yeah. But now we have to wait for the receiver. Until it gets here, we can take a break. Mm hmm, yeah. Yeah, but come on, girl, do not rush. I told you the last time, yeah. Yeah, you too, you rush too much, girl, come on, just calm down. Oh. The sun had gone down, so I accompanied Corona on the way home. Mm. Come on, girl, I'm your fucking boyfriend! <laughs> it's my duty to take you home. Ah, But it's dark out. Yeah, that's right! Yeah, but come on, girl, I'm your boyfriend, so <laughs> you don't have to give a fuck about that. This motherfucker is going to spend his money for you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up, but that's what boyfriends do, you know? What the hell? It's an necessary expenditure, yeah? The frugal life I used to lead seems like a dream. When Corona was involved, I didn't care too much about what I spent. Oh, that's cool. Uh, okay, girl, yeah, yeah, come on. If the sun were still up, that'd be okay, but it's dangerous in the dark. Yeah, that's right, Akito. Yeah, don't worry, girl. When I got a fucking motorbike, I'm gonna give you a ride. Yeah, I promise. <laughs> Corona looked like she wanted to ride with me, but it was already night time, so she gave up. Mm. Alright, Akito didn't enter in her room so far, right? Well, we just saw her room in her perspective. Hmm, this would be pretty interesting, but I don't want her parents to get mad at Akito, you know? Because as he's a guy and entering a girl's room... You got my point, right? Is it okay at this hour? Wouldn't I be intruding? Yeah, that's right, I mean, it doesn't sound well, you know? Oh my god, excuse me for a moment, guys. Sorry. Alright guys, I came back, sorry, someone called me at the phone, so let's continue, come on. Is it okay at this hour? Wouldn't I be intruding? Yeah, that's right, I mean, don't your fucking parents get mad at me if I do this kind of shit? You want, you want, to, you want to show me something? What is it? Not tell me you go, are you going to show me your, your fucking underwear? <laughs> oh my god! Maybe if we are gonna get into her room, we are gonna get a second HC. Well, if we play the Pultos version, right? Yeah, I think so. Ah, I can't imagine that shit. Come on, girl. You're a little, a little pervert, you know? What the fuck? Huh? What is it? What is it? <laughs> oh my god. I hope you, you won't show me your fucking underwear, girl. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, this 
shit. <laughs> ah, come on, girl. Ah. Damn it. We got off at the bus stop and walked for a while. All right. It was nighttime, but there was nothing to fear with Corona by my side. Ah, come on, dude. She will be the one to fear uh, uh, because of uh, because she's little. Ah. Of course, with all this, this light, there was nothing to fear even if I was alone. <sighs> You're a guy, come on dude, you have to, to act like a fucking man. Ah. Alright, we are here! Oh my god. Yeah, this is her room. Yeah, for Akito it would be a surprise, but for me I I, I was here before, so anyway. <laughs> ah, But, I mean, how did her parents allow this motherfucker to get into her room, huh? For me it looks wrong that the boyfriend of the Rota is in her room, what the fuck? It's, it had been in Takeichi's room many times, but this was my first time in Corona's room. Yeah, but come on, I mean, if I were her, uh, her dad, I would never love to, be, to get uh, this motherfucker into this room. Ah. Oh, fucking course, girl, come on, this is a girly room. <laughs> yeah, it's much prettier than I thought I, it, be, it would be. Uh, <laughs> come on, little girl, you get lots of compliments from this motherfucker. There were lots of trinkets as such, but what caught my eye was the number of books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she studies a lot, you know. There were a few comic books, but most of them were heavy encyclopedias and reference books, the kind which with your usually illustrated dust covers. Mm. That's a lot of books. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, I can tell. She took one of the from the shelf and flipped through its pages. Ah, uh, that's cool. Yeah, I love that. Hmm. Take was all Take was always playing outside. I bet. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Your brother was the black sheep of the family, for the reason she protects you and I make you study like a, <laughs> like a slave here. Oh, come on. Sake was concerned about that too, you know? Yeah. Oh my god, no, you know, this reminds me of the Simpsons, you know? It's like Takeichi is Bar Simpson and this girl is Lisa. <laughs> Ah, come on! <laughs> oh my god, you know it's a pretty funny analogy. <laughs> yeah, Lisa Simpson. I did think Lisa Simpson. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Cora didn't give her brother Takeichi much credit, apparently. <laughs> Takeichi always seems to hide his true feelings. I recall how he always treats Corona coldly during their frequent slashes. Clashes. It's true, I'm not kidding. He used to say all the time that you were amazing. Mmm, alright. At uh, least he's a good brother by saying that shit. I won't deny that. Ah. I guess it was always like that when it came to siblings. Mm. Oh my god, he came here! Ah, how are you, my brother-in-law? Huh? <laughs> Maybe he came into this room because he's trying to make sure that this motherfucker is not doing anything dirty to her little sister, right? Ah. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> Corona was very direct about trying to eject her trespassing brother. <laughs> but Sakeichi showed no sign that he heard her and simply walks in. Mm. Hey Take, I'm just visiting. Uh huh. Oh, that's cool. Thank you so much, dude. Ah. Sakeichi casually plays 
a tray before before us. And yes, there was a tea set with snacks on it. Oh yeah, you want to be alone with your boyfriend, right? Ah. Oh, thank you so much, dude. I hope you don't po even points on this shit. <laughs> Sorry. Ignoring Corona's attempt to displace him, Takeichi tried to make me a cup of tea. <laughs> oh. Without further ado, Takeichi relinquished control of the situation. But instead of exiting the room, he sat down on the carpet. Ah, uh, alright. Maybe he's jealous about this shit, right? She doesn't want her sister to stay along with someone, right? Ah. Uh. <laughs> As she prepared the tea, Corona starts daggers at a cage. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're ruining her mo her moment, right? Ah. Don't be too mean to her, Take. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Ah, that bitch. Okay, so you don't gi you won't give a give a fuck if you if if, if it were if it were you. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Her mother maybe she's thinking like. Hey, Takeichi, maybe this motherfucker is a bit perverse, so please, keep an eye on this fucking bastard, because I don't want her to lose her virginity. Sorry, lady, but she lost her virginity the last time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, come on. She's not a virgin anymore. I think uh, they have sex in her in his room. Ah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's fucked up. Ah, now let's take a sip of water. Oh my god. <clears throat> ah. All right. Let's go. Yeah, come on, girl. I mean, no. Any parent won't allow her, their daughter, to stay along with his boy, with her boyfriend. Come on, girl. Even me, you know. Even if I were your dot, your dad, I would never give you permission to get this motherfucker into his, into her, your room. What the fuck? The absolute authority of man's orders was acknowledged by both the Kusakabe siblings. Hmm. Corona set her face and stopped trying to chase Takeichi out. Ah. Oh, thank you so much, my little waifu. Thanks. Mmm, it smells good. Oh, yeah, from Hono Hono. Ah. At my compliment, Corona broke into a silly grin. <laughs> Look at her. Uh, maybe she will, she will do something like this. Ah, uh, here's the fucking tea, stupid bastard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, come on. What are you gonna do, huh? Sorry, could you make some tea for Take too? He won't be satisfied with tap water. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Come on, girl, don't be so mean. Oh yeah, okay, if this motherfucker is, is asking you this shit, you will do the, oh, everything, right? Ah! Uh, come on. <laughs> oh my god. Corona punctuated that statement by forcefully placing a cup of tea in front of Sakeichi. Uh. Takeishi, who certainly didn't drink tea on a regular basis, looked confused. By the way, what do you want to show me? Oh, yeah! Alright, girl. 
So maybe it's not her underwear, right? Okay, great. <laughs> so what is it? Mm, okay. Alright, but I don't know what uh, what, uh, our, uh, what is his likes. Ah. Hey, hey. Alright, yeah. yeah. Waving his can, lifeless, lifelessly, Takeichi saw his sister out of the room. Yeah, <laughs> maybe she thinks that you will get bored with this motherfucker anyway. You don't have to do anything, I don't mind, yeah? yeah. With a bored look on his face, Takeichi started playing with his phone. Hmm. Uh, he was already being forced by his mom to keep us company, so I wasn't going to inconvenience him further. We didn't even talk, time just went by. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe they were checking out her phones. Uh, to these young people, you know? What the fuck? They use their phones just to check out their things. Come on! Uh, about 10 minutes has passed since Coron left the room. What the hell? What are you gonna show to this motherfucker girl, huh? Is that shit so big? Alright, what is it? Oh wow! Now you have your outfits and your new uniform. The Make Academy uniform. Look at this! All right, that's cool. It suits you, you know. Wow! Yeah, now you're a Make Academy girl. That's great. I recognize Corona's outfits. It was Make Academy's female uniform. That's right. <laughs> Ah, that's great. I see. I see, sorry, but I'm not impressed. Come on, dude. Go, look at her. She looks really beautiful with her uniform. No. Yeah, look at this. Oh, man. Yeah, really, it's really nice, you know. I like that. Yeah, it's cute on you. Very cute. <laughs> Well, yeah, we can say that because your brother is here too. <laughs> anyway, Kona switched the hem of her skirt and posed as if she were part of a fashion show. <laughs> ah, come on, girl. <laughs> this is your uniform, so come on, don't think about that. Yeah. Corona turned his way and that, showing me all sides of her outfit. Oh, come on, dude. Ah. <laughs> In a panic, Corona pressed down her skirt. Oh my god, come on, girl. That was when she noticed Takeichi for the first time. What? Didn't you remember that your brother was here too? Ah. Come on, girl. Yeah, uh, <laughs> were you blind or something? Oh my god, now this motherfucker is getting jealous. Sakichi <laughs> 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 moved away, turning his back to us. Oh, oh my god, he's mad. Come on, girl. She's like acting like your brother, you know? He's getting mad because you show your panties to this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You know? uh, bit uncomfortable, you know? Uh, I can't really answer that. Uh, even if he asked to uh, ask us to ignore him, it didn't change the fact that Takeichi was still right there. Uh huh. Mm, yeah, that's right. Corner shuffle over to my side. Oh? <laughs> look at this! Oh my god, but look at her ass! 
Yeah, 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 the card skill is a bit short, right? Yeah, and, and now I understand why Takeshi said that, said that her panties were showing up. Oh, look at this! Uh, and to be honest, she looks sexy like this. Ah, come on! What the hell? But look at this pic, she looks like a cat. Uh, she's only placed her head on my knees. Kurune. Oh really? But I think your head is too close he uh, too close to his dick, you know? <laughs> I looked over at Takeichi, but it didn't look like he was going to say anything. Oh my fuck. I just gave Corona a look on incredulity. <laughs> oh my god. Something about this interaction made me think of her as a little sister. Oh really? <laughs> Ah, anyway, dear, dear, yeah, yeah. I pat Corona on her head. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> Corona narrowed her eyes in content. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the hell is going on? The projectile caution. Feed Sakeichi right in the face. <laughs> oh my god, this girl! Don't be so mean, please. <laughs> Cora played it's cool, but of course Sakeichi knew it was her. <laughs> now, now, stay calm. Come on, Corona, Apollo, yes to your brother. Yes, right, come on, girl. Don't be so bitchy. Uh, that's not a. That's not a sense of the eyes, you know? What the fuck? You just say, come in, I say. <laughs> she apologized alright, but there, there wasn't a hint of remorse in her voice. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> come on, girl, don't be so mean. Well, she's my girlfriend, dude, so I had to stand all her shit. <laughs> The corona I know is sweet as an angel. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh man, again? I'm not flying off the handle like that. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Hi. Okay. Why was I medi mediating his brother's this brother's sister fight? Uh, Takeichi moved further away into a corner. As if he didn't want anything more to do with us. Mm, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, girl. As you wish, my sweet wife. Did it? Yeah. I was really spoiling her. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this girl. Yeah, to be honest, she's sweet, but <laughs> she's a bit bitchy, come on. Yeah, but come on, you're a girl and that little shit is a dog. <laughs> ah. Corona's heart was light and bouncy. It felt so smooth, sort of like cat fur. Yeah, because she looks like a cat right now. And it, I wanted to keep petting her forever. <laughs> Corona rubbed her cheek against my knees, busily enjoying herself. <laughs> ah, come on, what the fuck are you doing? You're acting like a dog then? Just like Agueja did in, in, the, in the second inch scene? Oh my fuck, come on! <laughs> Please, girl, don't do that shit, it's so slutty. Marking your territory, huh? Yeah, fuck. Why are you doing this? Oh, come on, bro. That reminds me of the second Nichi scene of Ageka's Root, you know? Fuck. It was so fucked up, you know? Fuck. Oh my god. I want to remember those cheats. Oh. Oh. Emboldened by Takeichi's silence, Corona dialed up the level of physical contact. Oh. What is it? 
What do you mean by that, huh? Don't tell me you want to do some dirty things. <laughs> this girl is crazy. What the fuck are you talking about? She took my hand and brought it towards her body. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> so you want me to touch your teeth or your pussy? <laughs> but come on, girl, your brother is here. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> ah, this bitch! <laughs> oh my god, this bitch went crazy! Oh fuck! Yeah, yeah, you know. And I think for uh, for that reason she's doing this kind of shit because, as I told you, that video, yeah, that part when they were in the room, actually was an she scene. For the reason she's calling about that, she wants to have sex right now, right? Oh my god, girl. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Come on, don't be so slutty. Ugh. No, he knows that what's going on. Yeah, that's right. Come on, be hurt yourself. I mean, are you not afraid that your brother will get mad or something? <sighs> wow. Come on, girl. Please, don't be too slutty. Ah. I resume patting at full speed so as not to spoil her mood. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, chill. Okay, chill, chill. When we are alone, we can do this kind of shit, but not here with someone watching us. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> She's crazy. Oh. Are you sleeping already? Oh, anyway, that's cool. Aim it all the patting corner had fallen asleep. Ah, great. And Takechi finally came back from his corner of the room. Yeah, great. Now let's uh, put her in on her bed, you know? Yeah. She liked all that patting, I guess. Mm-hmm, yeah. But oh my god, your sister is such a... such a pervert, you know? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good idea. Now let's get the fuck out of here. I'm all for that, but demo demo. She was ripping the hem of my shirt. Oh. Yeah. Come on, girl. Just leave me alone and sleep well. Sweet dreams, my little waifu. Yeah. My little pervy waifu. <laughs> Ah, come on, dude. <laughs> Don't do that shit. Ah, what the fuck? Nah. <laughs> I just let her sleep like this for a while more. Mm. I don't mind getting home a bit later anyway. Yeah, because nobody's waiting for you, you know? You're a orphan guy. Corona was sleeping soundly, it seems. Uh, okay, I hope she's not snoring like... <laughs> Fuck that! <laughs> she must have been tired out from the an the antenna set up today. Oh yeah, we're still today here, oh my god! Alright. Thanks, Take. Oh my god, I have a pretty good brother-in-law, you know? I love this! Ah, nice! Haha! <laughs> yeah, you know, it's very nice to have a brother in love like this motherfucker, you know? Ah, I like that! Yes! As she lay there sleeping, Takeichi gave her a tender look. They fought all the time, but he was a good brother to her in the end. Yeah, come on, that's what siblings do, you know? Even though they fight in the outside, but actually in the inside, they care of each other. Ah, that's cool! All right, let's get that photo. Oh? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, I took out my phone and snapped a picture of Corona's face. Oh. <laughs> so you took a photo of her just sleeping? Yeah, because you didn't do that shit in the planetarium. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Oh? Uh? <laughs> 
Alright, so you're dating her. That's nice. Okay, dudes. I congratulate you. Ah, now you're gonna taste some green pussy, you know? <laughs> yeah, because she's the green girl. Ah. Takeshi took a photo too and immediately sent it to Narue. <laughs> Come on, don't do that shit. Your sister will get mad <laughs> later, huh? Because she's in the sister's club too. Narue gets a kid out of things like this. Huh? Alright, oh my god. That bitch is pretty weird, you know? Fuck. I know, I know, yeah. We laugh quietly so we wouldn't wake Corona. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Alright, we are back here in Hochino's Daichi's. It's here. Alright, yeah, maybe the receiver, right? Yeah, but I'm gonna end right here. This is the place to save, sorry. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Yeah. Oh my god, I love Orihime's voice. It's so sexy. Wow. Now let's see the gallery. Come on. Yeah, what is it? Here, right? Yeah, look at this. Oh, the last pick. Wow, great. Yeah, look at this pick. It looks so funny, you know? <laughs> uh, I love her little ass. <laughs> this is pretty funny. You know, I love these pics. Ah, great. Thank you so much for watching this gameplay again, guys. It was pretty nice. Yeah, I love this episode. But oh my god, Corona is a bit fervor, you know? What the hell? I'm bitchy too. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what we got in the next part. So, like, give me a comment, subscribe, and stay tuned.